JPN, we keep you informed. This toll is dreams. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Kevin Lee had specific plans for his future. According to his sister-in-law, Jennifer Lee, the 21-year-old who was working part-time at a mechanic shop had set his sights on completing his auto repair studies after which he had intended to seek employment overseas. On Sunday, criminals robbed the young man of those plans by stabbing him multiple times and slashing his throat at the Elsha Beach in St. Catherine. The brutal attack occurred about 7.45 p.m. Shortly after Lee, a budding DJ had completed what was a weekly performance. He was taken to the Spanish Town Hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. This is the last thing you would have expected. This is a guy who's full of potential. This is a guy who is bright, bright, bright. So he's looking towards the future. We were thinking he's going to bury us, not we bury him, Jennifer Lee said. He used to tell me when he is in his 30s what he was going to do. We used to sit down and daydream. You know, sometimes you have to sit down and daydream with them. He was going to get his driver's license. He was going to get his passport. He had already had his national ID. He was preparing himself for adulthood. He worked so hard, she lamented. He had set his timeline because at the last family meeting, each person was telling their timeline what they were going to do. His plan was to finish level three at Jagas, Jamaican German Automotive School. He had already visited the Ministry of Labor to see what the requirements to work overseas were. He was not putting his eggs in one basket, she explained. According to Jennifer Lee, Kevin, who was like a son to her, became a member of her household approximately seven years ago after his father, who was over 80 years old, died. She also explained that the Norman Manley High School alumni graduated with nine Caribbean secondary education certificate subjects. Photos of the young man and trophies that he had won for academic excellence were on display at the house. Jennifer admitted that when she was initially told that the auto engineering student had been stabbed, she thought it was not life-threatening. As such, she began making preparations to visit him in the hospital. When the police called me, they said he died. I screamed. Everything in my lungs came out, she said. Cops from the St. Catherine South Police Division are investigating the murder. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.